G'day folks, it's Mitch here, and I just received this hungry bin in the mail. And a hungry bin, a hungry bin, is a worm castings home factory, essentially. So you put your food waste in here, and the tapered design allows you to not disturb the worms who are doing really important work for you. And then every couple of months you'll get a casting brick, like a brick of castings, and every week you're supposed to get about a liter of really nutrient-rich, water-soluble um, worm juice that you can just put on your garden. Um, so I'm going to put this together for you now, and then I'm going to haul it up to the farm where we're going to put it to use and set up a review for you. Here we go. I'm going to put it together. Now we're gonna we're gonna actually use it. It's gonna be awesome. So today, Ben and I we are going to compile the materials to put in here, and then we're gonna put the worms in there. So as per the GreenTools.ca instructions, the bedding material is needed to settle the worms into their new home. Compost, soil, potting mix, coconut fiber, dead leaves, or shredded paper can all be used to bed the compost worms into the bin. For best results, place at least 80 liters, or fill this thing about three quarters full, full of those things I just listed, and we are going to do that right now. So stay tuned and check it out. Hello, didn't see you there. I've been collecting some materials for the hungry bin. Here we got some, some sawdust. Freshly chipped from processing firewood with chainsaws all of yesterday. Oh yes, the dust of saw. The dust of saw. Here we got some soil from that big pile of, of soil right there. Into the hungry bin. And some wood chips. Just miscellaneous from around the yard. There's a forest right over there. You can go and pick these up. Right into the hungry bin. Worms love it. And here is just a big bucket of all of those things mixed with some water because worms kind of like it a bit damp into the hungry bin. That easy. Here we are stirring it all up. And then we're gonna put it all in the hungry bin and it's uh, back to Mitch to finish things off. How much, uh, how much leaves do you think we need for the hungry bin? Enough to party. Enough to party. The worms like that. Again, this is just this is just materials that anybody can find in their backyard, whether you're in the city, whether you're in the country, just mixing it all up, sticking it in the hungry bin. I reckon that'll do. Oh, I wish I was a worm. It smells delicious. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh Are yeah. Those three full? Put it up to here. It's here. I'd say a little bit more. A little bit more. Awesome. Oh yeah. We 
reckon? Is that three quarters? I reckon. All right, cool. There we go. I guess it's time to feed the worms. Let's put the worms in. Awesome. We are adding some moisture to the hungry bin. The worms like it slightly moist, not too dry, so we're here to give them the perfect home. All right, let's do it. You get some down here. Just yoss it. Yoss. All righty. How's it feel? Good. I want to live in here. That's pretty damp, spongish like. Perfect. We really lost some volume there. Next up, we are gonna add the worms. So this is the indoor worm system that we've had at the farm for forever. And we really neglect these guys. We don't give them the attention that we should. We throw in some scraps every once in a while, um, throw in a couple squirts of water every once in a while. I often forget it even exists, but these worms are still alive. And once they get in this bin, I think they're really gonna thrive. Yeah. Only and this, find this out. soil is just so yeah, those, good. These are good, good castings. Oh, God, that smells good. And uh, what do you reckon? Should we? Do we have any kitchen scraps in there too? We can. Yeah. It, they prefer said, finely oh, chopped. Finely chopped chicken chip chip. <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> kitchen kitchen scraps may contain chicken. <laughs> All right. Here you go, guys. Enjoy your new home. All right, let's get them all in here and get them out of the sun. Ready. Okay, let's get these out of the sun and then we can add some more food. This is a bucket of compost straight from our compost pile over there. Rather not compost, but the food scraps on their way to being compost, but we got some cauliflower stems. We got some eggshells, got some green beans. It's not finely chopped, but I think the worms will enjoy it. So what can't go in a hunger bin then? You probably want to avoid uh, things like onion skins, uh, citrus. Uh, what, were, what were some other things from that list? That's a no-go. Get that out of there. Dairy, Dairy and not too much meat. So a mouse? A mouse. It's probably a moderate um, amount of meat. I think that's a moderate amount of meat. That should be good. Modest. Modest mouse. Modest. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, there we go. let's um, put this back in a nice shady spot so it doesn't get heated up. And we can check back tomorrow. Voila. Cool. All right, so we got the worms in their happy new home right here in a pretty shaded spot. So there's not going to be too many diurnal temperature extremes. Well, it will be at night, but it's not going to be exacerbated by being in direct sunlight. And if you like what you saw, go check out the Burge blog, everything you need to know on composting worms. Link will be in the show notes below. And heck, if you, if you want one of these, head over to greentools.ca and get your hunger bin. Bye-bye, everyone.